Okay, now on the next couple of problems, we're going to be working with uh, terms in series and writing them in, in terms of just one, one, uh, one term, the first term of the series. And so here we're given a, a relationship between the m plus first term and the nth term. Uh, it tells us that m plus 1 times the m plus first term is equal to the nth term. We want to write all the terms a n in terms of a 0. So let's start by taking this expression and solving for Let's start by just substituting in. Uh, in order to get the zero term, we're going to uh, let n equal zero and then substitute in and we get zero plus one a to the zero plus one is equal to a zero. That gives you one a one is equal to a zero. So we know the first term is equal to the zero term. And then we'll increase this expansion, let n equal 1. When you put 1 in for n, you get 1 plus 1. a subscript 1 plus 1 is equal to a1. That gives you a 2. a2 is equal to a1. And from this first expression, we know a1 is equal to a0. And so we can put a 0 in for a 1 and then solve for a 2. Notice that a 2 is 1 half a 0. And then n equals 2 gives us 2 plus 1 a subscript 2 plus 1 uh, is equal to a 2. That gives you 3 a 3 is equal to a 2. And from this previous expression, we know that a2 is 1 half a0. And to solve for a3, you'd want to divide by 3. And that puts a 3 in the denominator along with the 2. So you get a3 is 1 over 2 times 3 times a0. And you could keep expanding until you see what the pattern is. And notice that each time you expand by a term, all you're doing is putting another number in the denominator. For the fourth term, actually for the fifth term, Is it right? Is it? For the fifth term, you're going to have 5 factorial in the denominator 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So this should just be n factorial. It should be uh, the nth term is 1 over n factorial times the 0 term. So for our first term, for our first term, if we test that formula, for our first term, we get our first term is 1 over 1 factorial a0, and 1 factorial is, is just 1. So so a1 is equal to a0. That's what we have here. For our second term, we get 1 over 2 factorial a0. And 1 over 2 factorial is the same as 1 half a0. And that checks. And the rest of the terms will check as well. 